Hello dear friends, in my previous video I asked you how many triangles are there in this figure. So many of you came up with the answers but so many of you got it wrong also. I think you followed the traditional method of counting the smaller triangles then the combination of four triangles and so on. Uh, if you followed that method, uh, some of the triangles might uh, you might have missed out and that's the reason why you got wrong answer. So I'm going to explain it to you today in this video how we can count the total number of triangles in such figures very very easily using two shortcuts but one shortcut is applicable on all types of figures of this kind but the second shortcut is applicable only on particular figures. So let's see the universally accepted and applicable shortcut first. So the first figure which I gave you was this in this we had four small triangles and here we had a number of uh, small triangles so i'm generalizing it by taking many examples now now see if you closely look at this figure traditional counting is very easy in this case because you have one two three four small triangles and one big triangle so five triangles are there how you get to that answer five that is very very important now see the method which i am going to tell you to count these five triangles say i have labeled the two parts of any one side say this side see there are two parts here and if you observe this uh, figure we have one two and three parts here so on every side we have three triangles so one two and three on this base on this base we have one, two and three, these three triangles. On this base we have three triangles. So these are symmetrical figures. And in this case we have on the base if you see one, two, three, four and five triangles. Likewise on other sides also you can see five triangles. So we, you can have any number of triangles like two, three, four, five, six and any number of triangles. So once you know the generalized method of finding the total number of triangles then the uh, magnitude of this figure will not matter you can solve it in five to six seconds time only how do we do this now see these are numbers one and two so the first number one is to be written as it is so I, I will not write this here just uh, to avoid any confusion so this number one will come as it is now one plus two gives you three so we have only two numbers so we have to write as if we are writing the cumulative frequency the first number comes as it is and then next number gets added to this to give you this sum now after having done this we have to write one more column here column of numbers and that column will be written from the bottom so i will write this first and this later from the bottom corresponding to 3 write 0 so for the first number at the bottom corresponding to this number you have to write 0 and this number will come as it is here this method this method of writing this column is also known as skip 1 write 1 so this is skipping 1, so I am skipping this 3 and writing this number here. Skip 1, write 1. And now add this column, 3 plus 1, it is 4 and 1 plus 0, it is 1. And again add the two sums, you get your final answer, 5. I know it might look little bit tricky when you see it for the first time, but if you apply it here, now you will be feeling more comfortable. Now see. The first number is 1, so I will write 1, 1 plus 2 gives you 3 and now 3 plus 3 gives you 6. So I have 3 numbers now, 1 comes as it is and 1 added to 2 gives you 3, 3 added to 3 gives you 6. And now in the second column, you have to follow this rule, skip the first, write the next, skip the next, write the next. So skipping one and writing one and mind you, you have to start from the bottom. So from here, skip this, write this. 
skip this so alternatively skipping and writing this goes on and now add this is 6 plus 3 9 plus 1 10 and this is uh, okay 3 so 10 plus 3 gives you 13 so there are 13 triangles in this figure now if you want to count it you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 small triangles then 10 11 12 and the bigger one 13 so there are 13 triangles so verified by the traditional approach now let's apply it here again the same method and now this is going to seem more easier than before you can observe here that we have three uh, okay five triangles on each side so we have one two three four five so the first number one comes as it is now one plus two gives you three three plus three gives you six six plus four gives you ten and then ten plus five gives you fifteen so i have written the cumulative frequencies and now corresponding to 15 i have to skip write skip write skip skip write skip write skip this goes on starting from the bottom in the second column now add sum of all these numbers 15 plus 10 25 plus 10 35 and sum of all these numbers 10 plus 3 13 will give you your final answer 48 triangles in this figure isn't that amazing a small method and you know how many triangles are there in this figure friends this method can be applied to any larger figure also in which there are 6 7 8 9 even 10 triangles along each side of the larger triangle you will get the accurate answer every time now let us see another method of finding this but mind you the method which i am going to tell you is applicable only for even number of triangles on each side so three and five we cannot apply the method which i am going to tell you to these but we can apply it here because we have only two triangles along the side so let's see how we can apply this second method you will find it in some more videos on YouTube. The formula n into n plus 2 into 2n plus 1 upon 8. Now, this formula can be used when n is number of triangles along one side. very important that you remember n should be even so when is when n is even you can utilize this formula also so let us apply it in the smaller figure here this figure has two triangles along one side so n is 2 so if n is 2 that implies number of triangles will be just substitute the value of n here n is 2 then n plus 2 that is 2 plus 2 and finally 2n 2n means 4 4 plus 1 upon 8 so you have 2 into 4 into 5 upon 8 so 2 into 4 8 gets cancelled and you get the required number of triangles that is 5 which is same as obtained in this figure friends you can go on and on and try this formula for different figures let us have n as 4 because i need to take even number of triangles so i'm taking n as 4 so if n is 4 the number of triangles is 4 that is n into 4 plus 2 that is 6 into 4 to the 8 plus 1 9 upon 8 so 4 cancels out 2 times and 2 cancels 3 times thereby giving you 27 triangles as the 
answer for n equal to 4. You want to verify? Let's see with the other method also. So if there are four triangles like this on one side, so I am not drawing the rest of the figure, it, it should be something like this. Now if there are one, two, three, four triangles along one side, then the other method which I told you will have one, one plus two, three, three plus three, six, six plus four, ten, then skip one, write one, skip one, write one. So this will be 10 plus 6, 16 plus 3, 19 plus 1, 20 and 6 plus 1, 7 that is 27 triangles. So the same answer which we have obtained here but this method can be applied only when n is even. So I hope you have learned the two methods of counting the number of triangles in such a figure and it's a very very important concept for all competitive exams which include these type of questions. So friends if you are liking all these videos of shortcuts which I have been posting do share it with all those friends who are preparing for competitions and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more uploads to come in future and click the bell icon also for getting the notifications. Thanks for watching.